so that we don't have to use memory keys, we can uh, get GitHub to sync our files between our Raspberry Pi and that's really cool actually because it means that you don't even have to plug in your Pi, you can edit it on an iPad or your PC and then whenever you're ready uh, just sync up GitHub and your Raspberry Pi and all your files will be ready. Let's do it. So first thing you're going to need to do is just log into your Pi. I've done that now. So, so for your convenience I've put here a lovely cheat sheet um, and I'll be using it. Well I wrote it so I'm allowed. So first thing you need to do is make sure Git is installed. It's going to just check that Git is installed here. Great, it's already the newest version, so it looks fine. Next thing is to put in your username, Mr. T. Murray. Brilliant, and your email address needs to go in. And this will need to be the one that is linked up with your GitHub account. Next we're going to make a folder, and this will be the folder that links up with GitHub. So the to make a folder, it's just make dir, M K D I O R. I you can call it whatever you want. Sure, why not do that one? The folder is made there. If I click ls, I can see it. Yeah, I've got to change over to that folder, so I'm inside that folder. So just go cd, change the directory to uh, whatever I made, git alpha. And you can see it there. I'm now in that folder. ls, there's nothing in there because it's a new folder. So now we initialize git by git in it and that puts secret files inside that folder so it can be linked up with github. Now you've got to tell github where your git is. Where is that folder online on github? So you put git remote add origin and then you put the web address of your git repository. It should end in dot git. To find that all you do is just go into your repository so find your repository here somewhere uh, once you're in it <laughs> in it because we're just using it um, you click clone or download there it is there I'm gonna copy that and you just type that in there like that so that's github all set up now it's just kind of the daily basis of pulling in the files and pushing them up when you're done so I'm gonna pull down all of the files from github onto my Raspberry Pi and to do that you go pull from the origin master that's your repository when you do that you should see them all loading in like this and now your folder is full of all those files for, on github you don't need a password for this bit in fact you can just steal everyone's files off github there's no limit you can just you just can't push them back the other way without a password so let's say you were using a raspberry pi and you've changed a little bit of code using nano and you actually now want to push that back up to the github website for later so let's say if I just make a file nano uh, test file.py go into nano blur there's my change and I'm gonna save that control O control X now something has been changed you see in this folder yeah you can see it here there's test file I've added that. So now there's a difference between GitHub online and my Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to push those changes up onto the GitHub website. So to prepare the push up, you're going to type git space add space full stop. Okay, now here comes the commit, here comes the save. So I've typed git commit dash m my message to explain the changes. Now, you actually put in there what you've changed. So I really should have typed in, I added a file called nano test file or something like that. Those are the changes you've made. So if someone else in your group sees there's a commit, they know what happened. Deadly. That's my commit done. And finally, the very last thing, to push the big red button and push your files up, you want to type git push to the origin master. And this is where you have to enter your username and password um, to check that you have permission to edit the very precious repository online. Mr. Murray won't do, Mr. D. Murray probably will. Put the password in. And there we go. You should see some stuff happening and it's gone up onto GitHub. So if I go up into GitHub now, yeah, there you go. Test file and you can see there's the change that I've made. It's now live on GitHub. So that's it. That's how to push it back up.